Imagine you're just a regular teenager dealing with regular teenager problems like trying to get that essay done before 11.59 p.m., maybe taking out the trash on time, taking out the chicken so your mom doesn't yell at you, or oh, I don't know, maybe one day you wake up and your skin's completely gone. Well, strange as it sounds, that's kind of what life has in store for you if you're a mutant in the Marvel Universe. You could wake up one day with claws, a healing factor, and an insane obsession with smashing redheads, or you could wake up to find out that your superpower our ability is to shoot gold balls out of your belly. It's quite literally a roll of the dice, and the story that I have for you today holds perhaps the most unluckiest mutant of them all. As we start the story with a teenage boy getting ready for school. When he gets ready, he walks around the house to find things out of order and his mother missing. He yells over and over for his mom until he sees clothes in the corner of his eye, only to find his mother's belongings all over the floor. After seeing this, he becomes a little spooked and leaves a note for his mother before leaving. Later, Walking to school, he finds a dog collar on the sidewalk, and he starts to think that something may be wrong because the town is getting too quiet. But while walking, he finally finds signs of life, making him feel at ease. However, as he walks away, everyone starts to turn ash behind him. He then shows up to school, and while talking to his girlfriend, everyone all around the boy literally start vaporizing around him, until it's no one left but him. After this, some time would pass, and we see Wolverine enter a cave, lighting a match to find a makeshift camp with some fresh McDonald's. And in the dark, the boy screams to get out of the cave, but Wolverine just hands him a beer while the boy is in complete disbelief. Wolverine then tells the boy that he can't be harmed by the boy's powers due to his healing factor, and that Professor Charles Xavier sent Wolverine to find him. Upon hearing this, the boy realizes not only that he is a mutant, but that he killed everyone around him. So he asks Wolverine just how many people he killed, and Wolverine tells the boy that it totaled to 265 people, but possibly more. Wolverine would then go on to explain that after hitting puberty the night before, he gained the ability to kill all organic tissue around him. And as the kid starts to panic, Wolverine just tells him that it's shit luck. A bad roll of the dice. So the boy starts to freak out a little bit more and he tells Wolverine that he can't live like this. And Wolverine agrees, saying that if anyone ever knew it was a mutant that wiped out that many people in one day, it'd be the end for mutant kind. So the boy realizing he's about to die soon, he starts telling Wolverine about the things he can never get to do, like going across the country or going to college. But then he takes a moment to process everything and he asks Wolverine. <laughs> So like one chromosome or whatever to the left, and I would have maybe been one of the X-Men? And Wolverine just tells him that maybe it could have happened. And the boy cries a little more right before telling Wolverine to just do it. And moments later, we see Wolverine exit the cave after ending the boy's life, ending the story. I hope you all like that story. It's a bit dark, I know, but it's one of my personal favorites. But anyways, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.